Hi guys, um, so I'm Badger Spanner, nice to see you guys here. I know I know pretty much every single one of you, so thank you so much for coming along. All the butts, go on, put the butts in chat, because yeah, we need that. I'm a total butt. Um, everyone is butts. Um, hi guys, so today we are going to be doing some, um, well, Minecraft, because it's the only game I ever play. So here we are in Stevenage, which is the second server I ever played on. Um, how are the volumes going on at the moment? Because I need to uh, have a play. Um, I've got C418 playing in the background, so we'll get lots of um, get lots of Minecraft music going on. And um, how are the block noises? Yes, Minecraft. Oh my god, Minecraft. Brilliant. I kind of hope that there'll be good levels because I'm a sound engineer. Hey Sorrel, nice to meet you here. Funny that you're here. Can't imagine why you'd be here. Thank you for coming. Um, yeah, so this is my house in Stevenage. And look, there's Nicky Chops' house. I think he's in chat. Hello. Um, but first, I'm just going to play this. Can you guys actually hear that? Or shall I put it up? <laughs> yes, Nikki, your house. Let's try this. Yeah, I have the Jurassic Park theme for my uh, for my game. Um, let's turn it all the way up. Hi, Esty. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey Mike, hey everyone, I'm sorry if I don't read chat, I'm still kind of like getting used to it. It'll take me forever. Thank you for the follow. I need to just move that back onto the live screen. I'm still learning. Thank you Fally, and Lithosos, and High Village, SD, Lol Bozo, and thank you for the host Wolfie. So let's go back. So this is, yeah, probably, I can't remember how many months we actually lived in this server. It wasn't actually very long. Um, but yeah, this is my little Adam's family house. And yeah, I've got the working fridge and all that. And yeah, this is my kitchen. My little, oh wow, I actually had some good shit. I also apologize that I will probably swear, but it is marked as mature. So, oh Lyra, sorry. Thank you for popping in and saying hi. I know, I've still got cake left, Mildado. Um, basically, oh Joe, thank you so much for the host. And it's so awesome that you're in my, like, in any stream at all, but the fact that you're in my first one means a lot. Um, yeah, Mildado and Outs, bless them. Um, my birthday was, I think it was last July, well, yeah, my birthday's every July. Um, they filled my entire base full of cake. And this is after about two months of me eating all of these cakes. Uh, this is Colin, my cat. Um, so you will find lots and lots and lots of cake around here. So do not be alarmed. It's just cake. Nothing is like booby trapped or anything. <laughs> yes, I suppose I only get one birthday. I'm such a derp. This is my first derp. Oh, do you want me to turn the music down? Oh, it's because I um, turned it up for the um, blocks. Let's put it down to 42. And let me turn the music down. I've actually got it playing out of iTunes because I've got the, uh, the music itself. So, this, look how many pictures I've got in here. It's like an entity crisis going on. Yeah, Sorrel is one of my ex-neighbours. Well, technically she lives in the new town that we built. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? So lovely to see you here. Oh man, um, yeah, I'm still kind of creeped out a bit. But yeah, this is my base. Um, I didn't actually get to do much with this place, but yeah, let's see if we can find more cake. 
I'm sure there is. Oh, look, Elvis cake. There is cake on the toilet. Elvis would be proud. <laughs> That's brilliant. And um, yeah, just have a little bath. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So yeah, I'm going to show you around this place and then we can have a look at everyone else's builds. <laughs> Bye Sorrel, see you in a bit. Go and eat something. Um, this is the top of the tower. And oh, we can see Phil's mob farm from here. And Tash is Dizzy. And I think that's Olaf, isn't it? Yeah. And Steve's castle looming in the distance. Um, if you don't know who Steve is, um, he is the co-creator of Go 8-Bit, which was a TV program in the UK on Dave channel. Yes, it really is called Dave. And basically, um, it was about kind of celebrities playing games and in front of a live studio audience. Bye Turbo, thank you for joining us. <laughs> I'm still a bit kind of catching my breath right now so I will relax at some point <laughs> I don't know when but I will um, I'm just nervous for my first one but um, yeah Steve is one of the co-hosts for a um, UK TV show and it was all about games and how to um, like celebrities play against each other and like Street Fighter stuff like that and they had a really good first series and then it kind of I will be they didn't get a third um, a fourth series unfortunately because the TV company didn't really know what they were doing with the thing because it was such a good live show and so Steve basically started streaming during the middle of that and half of people on this chat are actually people I met through Steve and through Go 8-Bit and I just randomly came across him streaming one day and he was streaming Minecraft and I've never been um, never been a gamer I've always been more music and things like that and <laughs> And basically, he was playing Minecraft, and I was like, okay, cool. Something interesting that he's doing. And I got kind of hooked, and lots of people were in the chat, and they were having a nice time. And they accepted me, like, straight away. It was like, welcome, and it was really lovely. And, oh, NJ, well, let me pull away. It's based on the Adams Family house from half from the comics and half from the films. <laughs> I love you, Fally. Yeah, fair enough. Um, <laughs> but um, he started this realm. Um, this is only about a year ago. And all these people were playing Minecraft with him and I thought, eh, I've got loads of spare time. I may as well, you know, play with these people because I'm already giving him some money to, um, to subscribe to him on Twitter. And basically I just, um, I fell literally into Minecraft. I've never even played single player. <laughs> Sorrel. Sorrel, yeah, I'll go and I'll go and show your face if you want to in a bit. But um yeah, so he started this server and I owe him so much. Like he this is the second server that we had on his um followership basically. And I've met so many amazing people on the way. And then I got into Hermitcraft on YouTube and started hanging around with people even nerdier than I am. And that is where the other half of the people in this chat come from. It's all of the friends that I have made out of Hermitcraft. Hello dear. <laughs> Thought I'd 
read a little bit of chat catching my eye but yeah i i owe so much to steve and i owe so much to the hermit craft lot yeah sad naruto music fair enough <laughs> bozo yeah technically technically you are from the hermit craft universe for me but hey <laughs> And we've even got a hermit in the chat as well, so thank you for coming. Uh, it really does mean a lot. But yeah, this was my base. And I think I'm going to sleep so you can see. Uh, we can go for a tour of some of the more interesting builds than me. Yeah, Minecraft brings all the nerds to the yard, Zara. Yeah, Fally, he is the hermit. Bless him. Hello, Joe. Um, so yeah, let's sleep. There we go. Oh, bit of lag. I apologise. I'm currently running on um, 8 gig because I um, had a bit of trouble with my new PC and basically it burnt out some of the RAM. So I think the RAM was actually faulty to start with. So I'm waiting to, uh, to get replacement for that. But while we're here... Let's go and have a look at, this was originally like a normal little Minecraft village. And then Funk House um, from our server decided to extend it a bit. And there's a rabbit stuck there, as you do. I think the idea was to turn this into little shops, but we actually have. I can't believe you're on voice chat. I'm, oh man, some nerds in my chat um, are probably playing Minecraft and taking the mick out of me. Ha! You are totally, anyway. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> Funk House. Here though, there he is in the chat. He extended this village and basically completely rebuilt it. However, um, they're a bit, well, shall we say they're quite into the gay lifestyle because whenever I come in here, um, there's quite a lot of them in the toilets together. They seem to really, really like it in here and he, I think there are glory holes in the walls, so we'll leave them, leave them to that. <laughs> Oh, am I? I'm on 720. That's not too bad. Oh, bless you. Sorry, I can't change it at the moment because I don't have um, affiliate. But you can all, I will um, try and save it to VOD so you can see it. Sorry, Selena. You and your terrible Italian internet. It is literally the worst internet in the entire universe. Dodgy cottage. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty dodgy. Yeah, Fally. Minecraft glory holes. I went there. Hey, Dave. Thank you for coming. Oh, I was just talking about glory holes and now coming. Mm, giggity. Uh, <laughs> I have already lowered the tone. We knew this was going to happen because, hey, it's me. But yeah, this is what John did. This place is not family friendly. I have even like put the, uh, I've even put the mature content on because I knew, I knew this was going to descend into utter, well, me. So let's go this way. Right, this is Sam Pamphalon and our server mate Tash built him. Um, he is the other half to Steve who made go eight bit and they both uh, they both co-hosted <laughs> we don't allow swearing on Christian MC server yeah I, I know but yeah I think this is Phil's I don't know whose design this is but I think he built this quite late on in the server because we had some horrible lag there is no way that he would have been able to get this to work when we had so much lag before. 
but let's have a look down here. Now I'm in creative mode on this world simply because I didn't want the stress of dying constantly. Pretty sure it's Phil stayed, but yeah. This used to scare the crap out of me every now and then. I'd walk around the corner and there would be a skeleton hanging out, which is great fun. Oh, thank you for the follow, Orza. Really awesome that you're here. Um, yeah, this is the community chest. And this was just basically wherever we dumped all of our old shit for anyone to come and collect. Um, I think these used to be portals. Ah! <laughs> Steve had this thing where if you didn't like the rules of the server, you could go into essentially hell. Oh, I didn't know that, Phil. That's brilliant. And I think this is the old nether portal as well. And then uh, that was a portal to the mansion. <laughs> Selena. So many eggs. So this is Anderson Park, and this is where we had our shopping centre. And we we didn't we don't have like. Uh, or we didn't have currency and stuff like that. It was literally all free, um, basically a communist server. <laughs> oh, that's why there are trap chests there. Okay, so that it would give Dave a reading. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a bit of interest. Well, it's not interesting, but I think this was the first Izuma video I ever watched to build this. Who would have thought, hey, that that would lead somewhere. Um, so we've got Jenny's got wood. Yeah, Sarah, I'm going to go to your, um, your little uh, blacksmiths in a minute. <laughs> Sorry, collectivist. Do you know what? I used to be a member of the Young Communist Party of Britain and I was 15 and basically I left when I found out that their HQ was in America and that they wanted money from me and I was like, surely, it, no, it didn't make sense to me so I left and I'm kind of glad I did. So yeah, we got all these, all the woods all the spruce, all the spruce, and um, yeah, yeah, my fish shop was called Bait and Switch. Uh, this is Badger Mama's um, enchanted bookshop. Now, she has no relation to me, and she's actually really well missed at the moment. Like, she left fairly uh, quite a while ago now, and yeah, I miss her all the time now. Um, this is Aaron's. Uh, red apple shop and this was actually before Hermitcraft 6 and Scar's apple shop or cherry shop so I think it's a really it's a surprisingly common idea because yeah that's what apple shops look like um what have we got here oh this is Saffron's pet shop and there is nothing in here anymore apart from a dog and some horse and oh and a, don and a donkey yeah sarah i miss her so much oh leaves no nothing yeah i apologize if my um keyboard's making tappity tappity noise dibs on dad ass yeah you can have it um this i think was going to be Tasha's tea room. Yeah, it was. Um, a bit of background. Tash is a dear friend and one of my favorite people on the server. And she has legendary bad luck. And I mean like legendary, especially if animals are involved. Basically, if you're an animal, and Tash decides that you are her pet, you will probably die 
there will be some kind of unfortunate incident. You know, like the drummer from Spinal Tap, all of the unfortunate um, gardening incidents that they would have and spontaneously combust and stuff like that. But Sarah, she's not terrible at Minecraft. She's just got terrible luck with playing Minecraft and animals. Yeah, she is Dr. Chinnery from League of Gentlemen. She really is the vet that keeps killing his animals. Uh, this is my kebab shop, <laughs> um, as you do. Um, let's see if it's still here. Yeah, cool. And that still kind of looks like me in this texture pack. Yeah, she really is Chinnery. It's quite scary. Some music, I'll have that. But yeah, you stand on here and food is thrown at you. Yeah, the kebab shop. Usually there's like a sheep standing outside and just kind of staring at me like I killed its mother. Which, yeah, probably. I do serve lamb. Um, what have we got here? Ah, completely stone shop. Unsurprisingly, basically stone. But yeah, Ramble Tash, she, oh wow. Yeah, Dave, I miss this place too. Oh, that's a horrible texture. Eh. So this is Sarah's shop. This is her um, blacksmith's. And here, look, all your birthday cake is still here. Delicious cake. Nom 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 nom. Fences are well stocked. What have we got here? All the saddles. Yeah, Sarah, you're blacksmith. It's brilliant. I love it in here. And of course, I can't get out because there's a block next to it. We did some very good things, Funky. And here is Funk House's uh, cane shop, which is actually a, a mini farm. It actually has like been almost a year since we were on here. But hey, yeah, Selena and Dave have a lovely server called We Happy Home, or We Happy Place, sorry. And this place is called A New Home. And it's such a lovely, chilled out place. And every time I log in, there's something new that they've built. And I will go back, I'll actually go for a tour there in a minute. So I want to go and show you the original um, creative server that we had and yeah it could be interesting give me just one second I want to check something all right it's so weird I just needed to get some water just realized I've been talking for half an hour without taking any water so give me some hydration um, prompts otherwise I will just sit here and Tribble and die. <laughs> Water is overrated. I'm actually drinking mead as well, which is delicious. But yeah, mm, kids, booze is bad, okay? <laughs> I'll just breathe. For a, for a first a streaming attempt, the audio is very good. I would hope so, because I'm a sound engineer. It was the only thing that I think you can depend on me to actually do properly. Although, that is debatable as well. Ugh, Wolfie. Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolfie. Anyway, I'm going to go into cheaty fly mode and show you Bender. This was Badger Mama's, and I think it was Phil, yeah, Phil gave him uh, Fiery Farts. Oh no, it was Dave! Dave gave him Fiery Farts. Um, funky, I do both. I train to be a studio engineer, but um, I've done more practical work front of house and um, live music venues and things like that. <laughs> Sarah, I'm going to go to your place in a minute. 
Anyway, this is King Rob and annoyingly I'm actually clashing with him in half an hour. Um, he is the technical brain behind Go 8-Bit and the multiplayer games that they originally tried out and they now do a thing called Wi-Fi Wars which is where you have up to I think they've done 200 people in one room at least all playing the same oh yeah and they're also Pong world record holders thank you Phil um, because basically Rob built this whole system where you can throw games, mini games, to people's smartphones and they play on them and certain games take an aggregate score so you can play on teams and it is so nicely done and it actually goes on so well but yeah this is King Rob and I think it was Jazzy Jenny that built him so that's really cool um, that's PDT and Sarah's original bit come down this way um, that is spark rats lava carrot I still can't remember why that happened but it did and it's fairly impressive to be fair aha uh -huh. um, let's go to Aaron's and if it's still in one piece lava dick yeah the giant lava carrot um, I think this was Dave. In fact, I'm 100% sure this was Dave. This was filled with water. There's not meant to be water in here. <laughs> so, Dave. Yeah, it was Dave. Of course it was. And let's have a look at his actual thing. Hey, Catsy. Thank you for the follow. It is a fun water slide, Phil. Hey Catsy, uh, this is one of the servers I used to play on. So welcome and thank you so much for coming darling. He never found the cow spawner under his bed either. Of course. Of course you did. Oh Dave. It looks old. Yeah this was actually 12.2. This is only a year old. I'm doing fine, darling Catsy. How are you? Um, anyway, yeah, let's go to Selena's place. Um, here's a TARDIS. It's a thing. <laughs> there is a massive TARDIS. And it is beautiful. Oh, Catsy, you're always tired though, darling. But at least you... Uh, yeah, look at this TARDIS, it is so cool. Selena and Dave did an awesome job on it. Um, what is this? Oh, this is a potion shop. Such a good idea. So nicely done too. And this is the bookshop that is shaped like a book. Yeah, um, there is a massive kind of platform of glass above this plot because we used to have fire spread on. Oh yeah, and the llama vending machine. Um, we had fire spread on, on this. And unfortunately, when lightning struck, of course it used to burn everything down. So unfortunately, one day, Phil and Selena, uh, Phil, Dave and Selena's place um, was struck by lightning and burnt all the way down to the, uh, the ground. So we did a bit of a community build and rebuilt it all together. Yeah, you'll be Scottish home. Um, but yeah, it's such a lovely place. And look at this. Diamonds in the seating. Like how ostentatious can you get, guys? Yeah, my Adams family house um, that we were in to start with. Yes, we have Dave, Sarah and Selena here, <laughs> Catsy and outs. Um, half of you are now on my Discord server, but remind me to post a link to my server in a bit if you're, if any of you aren't on there and you'd like to join. Um, this was a bit cheaty. You can tell a mod 
did that. We decided to go to the end and we were hilariously underprepared. And I mean hilariously underprepared. So we've got mushrooms, we've got Sonic, and we've got Mario. Oh my god, guys. Like, we were fully massacred and it was only one dragon. <laughs> it was ridiculous. So many deaths. We are not good Minecrafters. It's a good job that I'm in creative. Jeez. I miss this place too, Selena. Anyway, this was the map. And yeah, it was all in grids. And in fact, um, I built a whole tube network. And we'll go on that in a minute after I've shown you the Steve. Um, <laughs> wow, there's a lot of spiders here. So many spiders. This place used to be so spawny. It yeah was a deadly server because we had um plot protect um we were all given a hundred by a hundred plots and as soon as you went on past the boundaries um things were set to permissions so you'd have a lot of people who'd claim plots and then they'd disappear for months on end and wouldn't light up their um plots so they'd just be this massive spawny kind of hell dimension kind of next door to you and that was the only thing about this uh, server was quite how dangerous it was because no one no one wanted to um, put fences around the plots and they also would be like well there's no point yeah, Sara was particularly surrounded by people who didn't build anything on their um, plots. Anyway, we had this thing. We had this um, this giant st effigy of Steve. Steve from Go8Bit, who is the creator of this server. And what we would do would get noobs to basically, let me get out of uh, this. Brilliant. What you would do is you'd have to take the leap of faith. So I'm going to go back a bit and I'm probably just going to go splat. No, I completely died. Never mind. Good job I was in creative. But you would completely splat and it'd be test your, <laughs> test your um, kind of devotion to Steve by killing yourself essentially. So this is the tube network that I built with the help from basically from Jenny, Sarah and Phil. Ah this isn't Steam's though Sarah, this is um, Stevenage. Yeah the only place where Steve's avatar is happy but as you can see we have different blocks and each block scheme uh, coordinates with the stations. Yeah, I was very happy with how this ended up, apart from I wish that I'd had more time to finish it off, because I'm way more of a perfectionist now, which is, yeah, I'll, I'll get there. So we are currently at the Visitor Centre, Main Street and First Avenue. The next station that way is Main Street and Third. Ah, the music's gone mental. Let me skip this one. I like Beton, but it's a bit loud. Let me turn it down anyway. There we go. But yeah, we've got Sedgebeer after after Rob. Leet Street, because hey, hacks. Stuff like that. Anyway, let's go for a ride. This will be really slow and janky. There were days when the um, server lag was so bad that you'd be going at a snail's pace and <laughs> it'd be so much faster to walk but it was so much safer um, travelling by rail here. I think this was Wendy's doing. It's such a lovely little kind of 
design bit. Yeah, I went for simple kind of bands rather than the whole place. Let's go off to the next one. The next one is actually the station where my house is. And I've got some really, um, really cool stuff to show you actually. They're out built. Um, because we had a problem with changing tracks and Outs decided, hey, I've got some spare time. I will build a super crazy um, signal box, basically. So this, this line will go that way. Now, if we want it to carry on straight, we flick this lever and it go all the way to the next station. However, the shops that we went to earlier, we can click the switch and then we go straight there. And underneath all this, oops, don't need to fire everything on me. There we go. Outs has done a super long um, redstone thing. Let me just change something. There we go. Yeah, Outs, this is brilliant. Um, it's actually really simple the way that the, um, the redstone actually works because it literally just changes over one of the blocks above and yeah it carries on all the way this way through on from there but it's so effective and it's really simple to use <laughs> Yeah, Dave, um, Outs built two of them in creative. We'll go there in a minute. And yeah, we all had a little patch of stuff. We used to have a multiverse in this. Uh, let me get rid of this. We used to have a multiverse uh, setting. So we could have our own um, creative server as well. Oh, yeah, um, Dave and Selena actually met on this server, and yeah, or through, uh, through Steve, and yeah, they're adorable, and I love them both very much. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're our little love story. Now I'm going towards the extension. And this is where Sorrel lived, basically by herself. <laughs> oh, you guys, 14 months together. Oh, that's so lovely. Congratulations, guys. Um, but yeah, it, it's been such a lovely little community that I'm so proud of where we've all ended up. It's so lovely. Um, this is where, uh, I think it was, I can't remember his name, Pete had a, a mine that used to lag out the server completely because there were so many, um, there were so many voids and torches in there that the, the server used to struggle. Um, but yeah, this is all the way north. P who shall not be named, yes, him. Um, yes, one of our lovely people was in a relationship with him and let's say she was an eight, he was a one. So yeah, I was, um, you know when you're quietly glad when people break up? That kind of thing happened. Thank you for the follow Lumine. Um, I hope I said your name right. Right, here we are going to basically the most dangerous part of the server and I am so glad I'm in creative because Sorrel's um, plot here I can't even remember how many times she died it was ridiculous every single time someone went to visit or she would come and come into town to meet anyone um, basically she died because every single one of these plots is unused but protected 
so much death, so much death. So this is the totem that we actually bonded over um, because Sorrel needed some blue dye and I had lots of blue flowers and yellow flowers I mean so <laughs> yeah only come during the day Sorrel because it was so bad around here like your plot was fine but unfortunately everyone else's plot like we had Mikey over here I think and he was at school so he was based, I think he was doing his GCSEs or something like that and wasn't on very much so he didn't get to kind of despawn his uh, his pot. Wolfie, stop it. I will check this cord later. Um, so this is Sorrel's face. Yeah, it was Mikey. This is all Sorrel stuff. Let's look in here. Ooh, above average. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Fauna and food. I like your labelling. How long did I play in the server? Um, we played here for about five or six months. This was basically from... Wow, it would have been about February to... Um, when 13 came out because we were originally going to just um, kind of we had um, a border and we were going to keep it keep to that and then upgrade the server but we never did um, Steve decided to do a bedrock realm instead eventually um, so yeah, we were probably on here, yeah, from February to about August or September. But let me just clear the weather. Ah, of course it won't let me. Um, it was, yeah, it was a good six months. It was lovely. And yeah, I do miss this place a lot. But hey, oops, I don't want to be on this side. I want to be on this side. Uh, this is the sky rail that Phil built and this was so that the newbies could get all the way from our visitor centre back up to here, up to the new plots which only Sorrel and Mikey joined us with until uh, we swapped over unfortunately but we had lots of fun around here so I will yeah, this sky rail is beautiful and Phil built it, I think. Hey, Modarang, welcome to the stream. Funny seeing you here. Um, but yeah, this got a nice view from up here, and there's Phil's um, mob farm again. So if I carry on up here, it's a nice gentle tour back up here. And then in a moment, I will, when we get to back up to spawn, I will show you Steve's tiny little roller coaster and um, a couple of other things up the north side. And there's my house again. I was really pleased with that. Now I know texture and stuff like that, I'm going to rebuild it again. And in fact, I, I kind of started rebuilding it when I joined Izuma's Let's Play Minecraft Together server um, but yeah I only played there for about two months I'd managed to get half of the house done but not the inside and I just decided nah and we have a server now called Buckcraft which uh, our friend Pony Butts has created oh look Belen's home yes um, <laughs> The S is silent, so it's buttcraft, but it's spelt buttcraft, of course. And Fally, Wolfie, Catsy, and a couple of other people play on there with us. Oh, um, Sarah, the Dalek over there, apparently is an apology from uh, Terrible X. So I didn't know that, but wonderful. He was such a prick, and I'm so glad you're not together anymore. <laughs> I thought I'd get that out of the way. 
I love you, Sarah. Anyway, let's go towards... Actually... Uh, I can't be asked to do it properly. I'll just go and sleep. Oh, bless you. I will allow that. Bless you. See where it's a little more... Uh, see, for me, it's second language, but there are quite a few Americans here. So, well, until we're all very drunk, then, yeah, it'll be more acceptable. But, yeah, I think it's somewhere we'll just about keep. But don't take the piss too much. Yeah, Mike, the C word is working, is kind of becoming less of um it has less power behind it now but um yeah so this is steve's little shit roller coaster <laughs> pretty sure it's absolutely terrible yeah it's terrible but i love it Whee! This is pathetic. I love it. Oh, rip Catsy. You're only 19 anyway. Mind you, yeah, you should be going out and getting drunk. I don't know what the age of uh, booze consent is over in Israel. Um, but yeah, this is Steve's. Steve's um, sheep. Nice rainbow sheep, I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is Steve's little shack, I think. Ah, okay, Catsy. Fair enough. Plant some food, tools and mob stuff. Feels nice. I'm gonna sleep in Steve's bed. Usually I load up. Yes, it is um, diluted wine with parents' consent. Um, you can children can drink from the age of five i think it's the same in um in france as well so aren't we continental terribly continental brilliant um oh i forgot about this place um this is the pepsi max tunnel it was basically, uh, Steve had this thing about Pepsi. It was his uh, drink of choice during... Um... Catsy, it's not full strength and it had to be within limits. And basically it had to be diluted wine with parents' consent. So yeah, I know Mike, I hate Pepsi as well. But the new raspberry one's quite nice. Like surprisingly nice. Um, I'm going to go this way. Aha! I thought so. I thought we were going towards this way. Um, I'm currently travelling towards Phil's um, fire and ice castle. Or mountain, basically. Um, Phil and Dave were mods on this server. And they used to take creative liberties, basically. So, yeah. We, and I don't think anything on this server was ever finished. And basically, Phil decided to build a mountain out of obsidian and lava. And snow. And I think this is where we killed the wither. We had um, a creative wither fight, basically, where the mods um, set up booby traps and things like that, and places where we could go. And yeah, it was interesting. Ah, Phil actually world edited it. That makes sense. Because it looks quite natural in places. That's really cool. Was this a farm or was this just random? Oh, it's just random, looks like. That's really cool. 
thank you so much, Selena and Dave. Oh yeah, Sara set with a free. But I think everyone's done that. Pretty sure everyone's done that. <laughs> Catsy. Bye bye fake people. Yeah, they're lovely. Um, but yeah, if you don't know Catsy, um, the reason that Dave is called fake Dave Gray is because there was, well there is, a singer-songwriter in the UK called David Gray. And yeah, that's where... And Dave is actually called Dave Gray. So he uh, he decided to be fake to make sure no one kind of thought that he was the real one on Twitter, as you do. And bye, Sarah. Have a lovely time. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you soon, hopefully. I don't even know where I am on this server. I don't think I have ever been this way. Um, yeah, he did um, White Ladder. It was about 15 years ago or so. It was kind of middle of the road, guitar led, kind of indie. That one. Uh, he did a song called Avalon. Oh, it leads to the stronghold. Yeah, fair. I think that's actually everything I wanted to show you guys on here. Oh, I'll go to the McDonald's and to uh, to Muir's place. Yeah, Fally, he did sound chronically constipated. Quite a lot of people do, though. Like, you could say that Dylan sounds chronically constipated. Because, damn. He really did. Um, yeah, this is Muir's little mini... Um, mini village and Muir he basically um, wanted to build small as possible <laughs> you're very welcome Fatty. Muir's tiny houses which are adorable um, this is Dave's McDonald's because um, of course someone had to build a McDonald's here I don't think it even got finished properly like nothing in this server got finished but it is awesome and it is huge absolutely massive um before we go i will take you to out to mordado's place because they're on the stream right now and i'm going to um it wasn't friends only fally it was subscribers of a guy called steve mcneil and basically, like, out to Maldonado especially, I'd only seen them in chat a couple of times on stream. And they suddenly turned up literally next door. And we became good friends through it. So this is, this actually, this track actually leads to my base. And this is out to Maldonado's little, uh, little waiting room. And it's so adorable. And I think if we follow this way, give me one sec, that it goes down to, whatchamacallit, it goes down to a mob farm, I think. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, out to you, really. <laughs> it was awesome. I'm so glad that we met. And yeah, I met Sorrel through it as well, and she was actually quite a late comer. Let's see what this is like. I can't remember what kind of mob farm this is. Oh, it's the water tank. Ah, that makes sense. So you had dark um, voids and then a water flush, basically. Yeah, I think you were, Sorrel. I think it was you or Mikey. I think it was actually Mikey who was the last one in. Um, Mikey was the um, the son of Badger Mama, and it was really nice having kind of mother and son on, which was really sweet. Oh dear! Come on, don't be a dick. There we go. But out to Mordado did such an amazing job on this place. Oh, okay, so yeah, Sorrel, you were the noob. You were the last noob. But yeah, this is Outsmore Dado's place. And 
they are crazy builders. At some point I will go on to the bedrock realm that we have, that is um, the most current. Oh guys, um, Mr Cheapy, um, one of these two, there we go. Um, I had a bit of a poultry man thing, I used to collect and just chuck eggs at people's plots just to kind of chicken spam them and so I did this to out some more data when they joined and they actually kept um, one of the chickens and called it Mr Cheapy which I think is lovely and yeah so sweet um, actually I've just remembered there's a little bit more to my house than I came on here give me one sec off. Excuse me. Bloody cat's in the way. Move. Oh my god, the cat was actually in the way. Yeah, I egged your house. So I have this little hidden... Um, this was just my enchanting room, I think. Yeah. I have so many kitties. I can't remember where they all are, though. Um, so we've got Colin. Willow. I can't remember what I named. I don't think I named my birds. Bowser the dog. Chivers, which is a brand of marmalade in uh, in the UK. Now I've lost a black and white one and her name's Pudding because she was named after... Yeah, cats always get in the way. Hello, Hell. How are you, darling? Thank you so much for coming. Um... Yeah, it's a total shambles, but yeah, it's doing all right. Uh, these are my llamas and my horses. Uh, oh, Catsy, um, Helen Pikachix, um knows a lot about cats. Um, she has a few of them. Oh, these are my Ghostbusters. <laughs> so I have Slimer, I have Winston Zedmore, Peter Venkman and Ray Stance. And an upside down one, because it's hilarious to watch people on upside down horses. I mean, look at that. That is... I'm just going to sit here for a minute and just go, yep. La 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 la. See, that horse gets it. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> oh, I have a terribly boring voice, Catsy. Do you want me to do an even more boring voice? Okay, I'm gonna do it. I haven't done this voice for a while and I haven't heard his voice for a while, so it might be a bit out. Of... Hello, YouTube. This is a zoomer here. I have a really exciting mob farm tutorial for you today. There we go. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my little bit today. His old voice. His old voice. Oh my god. Izuma's first, like, videos. They're insane. Not boring. I uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, I'm going to swap worlds and I'm going to change this over. So let me do the BRB screen. Um, I'm still here. Don't go anywhere. Um, I'm just going to change my instance. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm so happy you guys are here and thank you so much for joining up, joining me for this. Um, let me do Rift. Yeah, I, Catsy, I don't know. I don't know what, how he became such a big YouTuber, but he did. He's, yeah, he had something at least. It certainly wasn't his voice at that point. But, hey, he grew up and he did, he did the thing. Yeah, it, um, Helen, it, it kind of matches my hair, I suppose. Um, right, I might need to do some uh, live editing. 
Hello Jessica, thank you so much for coming. Um, oh, let me do go back to this. Sorry, I'm. This is literally my first stream, so I'm. Yeah, we'll see. I think I need to re add, add, add this on. Ah, there we go. Oh look, I still have that there. Let me just move this up so that it doesn't thing on that. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to join um, the... <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, this is We Happy Place. Um, do, do, do. Let's do this. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, it, that will do because I have a weird little um, thing going on with that. And here we go. Yes, yeah, Sorrel, you can come if you want. I'm going to go to the creative uh, world if you want. Um, I will show people my terrible hole, basically. So I've just got um, a fish farm. This is Dave and Selena's um, server. And I've been on this for about eight months and I still haven't really built anything. It's funny, like I joined, I joined this server and I started watching Hermitcraft and I became really inspired by everything and then kind of, you know, um, complete block. So I'm not particularly creative at the moment with building and stuff but I will build that Adam's family house again is this song messing with you Katzi oh look let's um yeah we won't talk about this it even says don't ask so yeah we all know who that is la 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 let me sleep because we are in full survival mode now and I will die a horrible horrible death so let me pop out here um, this was my turtle breeding ah <laughs> uh, Helen always lowering the tone somehow I don't know how um, yeah these are my mushrooms Derek and Clive they were a gift from Sorrel um, this is Ginny Weasley, which is actually what I wanted to call my cat Honey, but yeah, that was vetoed. Um, yeah, I've got mostly, I think I've got mostly Harry Potter um, <laughs> names of my pets at the moment. But yeah, let's go to spawn where we've got the, um, the portals. Yeah, it'd be very funny if I died, so we haven't got keep inventory on this one either. Um, there's Big Ben and a massive um, rainbow. So this is the thing with this server. Every now and then Dave and Selena will just randomly come online and build something in creative. And yeah, it gets a bit out of hand sometimes for lag. Um, this is, this is Sarah's place. Yeah, um, Catsy, the other one's called George, so I've got Fred and George. Um, this is Sarah's place. Outs, you should totally join us on here. Um, I don't know why Sarah has chickens in boats. Um, yeah, if anyone could let me know how the stream's going, because Catsy's having problems, if it's still alright. I haven't dropped any frames, so I think it's just you, Catsy. Um, this is El Big Boy. And fuck knows why he's here, but he is. And his army of chickens. Um, Dave and Selena aren't great with lag, it has to be said. Um, so I might need to um, have a go at them for some lag busting. Because even though I've got a nice shiny new computer. Okay, there was an explosion just then. 
I'm not going to ask. Um, yeah, they need to um, sort some stuff out, especially because here is the Born Chunks. And yeah, there's so many entities here that we might need to uh, do something with it. Um, yeah, welcome to Spawn. Uh, this is Funky's place. Oops, sorry. I just broke something. I think it's still decked up for Christmas. Um, oh yeah, we've got particle effects that look like fairy lights. We had those decked up for Christmas everywhere. And that wasn't laggy at all. No, not at all. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, um, so one day I logged in and, oh, I think that's actually a piston bridge, but I can't be asked to turn it on. Um, Amsterdam turned up. I literally logged in and yeah actually Amsterdam which yeah I love how they just randomly surprise us with these beautiful builds and I think we were actually given one of these houses each to do the interiors for which is really cool so at some point you guys can help me with the uh, building the interiors to one of those yeah all of the Selena and Dave creatives um, I think a lot of it is um, world edit and stuff like that so cool um, is this my fish shop yeah because I did so much AFK fishing um, basically I decided to build a fish shop so we've got salmon on crude and cod and pasta sauce and it's a little, it's not the best build, but it's got a little kind of cafe bit upstairs. Then we have the, what do you call it? Indoor fishing experience, which is just a, a community fish farm that Phil built. Ah, right. So you guys can see, bin for shit stuff contains lava. Look out, Lauren. So... This happened once. I was sitting here throwing stuff in there and Sorrel was sitting here fishing away and instead of Q I pressed W and walked straight into the lava and lost all my stuff and because Sorrel was like literally right next to me but didn't know what was going on until quite late on I died and it was like the most noobish death I have ever, ever done. It is one of the most embarrassing things, but hey, it happened. And um, Sorrel, do not feel sorry, do not feel bad about it. It was, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, so I stay well away from lava now, which is, yeah. Right, so we're now in the creative world from the server that I've just toured on before, um, Dave and Selena's. And let me just check my phone. Yeah, brilliant. Um, basically, this was a little sandbox for us all to <laughs> fill. Yeah, follow me with a bucket of water. Just encase me in obsidian. That'll work. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, we had a, a thing for giant pink dongs, as you do. Uh, there's Sarah's unicorn and Winnie the Pooh. And, aha, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is my Ghostbusters HQ that I built. Yeah, that giant dong does look pretty diseased. Let me just pause my music for a sec. I think you guys can hear this, I'm not sure. Oh, listen to that lag. Oh! There we go. I love it. Hey, Katsy. So, yeah, this is the inside of my Ghostbusters HQ. This is all in creative. This was all somewhere we could all kind of check stuff out and then build it in... Um, in survival if we wanted to 
So yeah, I've got iron golems and they're all named after the Ghostbusters, of course. As you can tell, I'm a bit of a ghost head because yeah, this is the second instance you have seen any mention to Ghostbusters. It has been like, Ghostbusters 1 and 2 have been a huge part of my life since I was tiny and they're still two of my favourite films of all time. So yeah, I was making kind of tribute to that. Um, this is the mess hall that I built. So we've got a little pool table and some nice little dining areas. Um, I don't know what I was doing with the kitchen. I think I was going to do something else with that at one point. Uh, you've got a pinball machine. And then you've got some, uh, some games there. And this is their bunks. And I think there was going to be a little toilet here. Yeah, I was going to build a toilet there. Yet again, everything's half built. So I do apologise. Like, I don't think anyone on our servers has ever really finished anything. <laughs> We're not professionals. Yeah, I love... I, I really want to do this in survival. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, this is the psychomagnetheric slime experiment. Uh, so you've got all the pink ooh from um, Ghostbusters 2. You've got a couple of uh, workstations here. Um, this is basically Egon's uh, lab. Um, finally, I probably won't be doing any buck craft. Um, I'm just kind of doing old servitors at the moment, I think. But we'll see. It's only quarter past uh, eight, so maybe. Um, this is Slimer. <laughs> and it's a slime, of course. Um, I was going to turn this place into a mob kind of uh, prison, essentially. So, yeah, I'll turn the music back on. I can keep it um, so, yeah, cute little Slimer. And I'm going to go down the pole. Whee! Ponk. So that's the Ghostbusters HQ. If I go here, and uh, this is Janine's desk. And this is Venkman's office. Wait, what, Fally? What? This isn't creative. <laughs> I'm in creative, don't worry about it. Um, can I still find this little place? Ah, here we go. Yeah, falling with style. Now, I only know because there's something there. Um, this was another work in progress I was gonna do. And there we go. Oh, I love Malohi. This is one of my favorite C418 songs. It's gonna get a bit spooky. Um, this was another work in progress, and this was going to be a living room piston house. Yeah, this is where all the bodies are. And, oh my god, look how many paintings I used. Yeah, it is really, really tw Twin Peaksy. Uh, this is my little gay kitchen. So, that was going to be a thing. Um, I was going to put a dining table and chairs there. Wow, there are just too many pictures here. Oh my god! Yeah, so I kind of spam the pictures. Just a little bit. Um, I like this bed though. I really, really like this bed. I think that's quite cool. And again, this was before I was watching any YouTube stuff or getting inspiration from that, so... I think though I had, yeah, this was a mumbo build. This was when I started. Hey Wendy, lovely to see you here, darling. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was a mumbo. Yeah. Um, this is just the loo and stuff and some toilet paper. 
um, towels and everything. But yeah, it's it's. I like the colourways that I was going to go with on this. But again, yeah, not quite finished. But yeah, let's go back up here. I've got so much to show you in this place. Um, so yeah, that's the back of the Ghostbusters HQ. I think that these used to be orange. I'm sure they used to be. Yeah, because they were red and then I had orange glass on top. And they were basically the explosion in uh, Ghostbusters 1 when the gatekeeper... Um, well, it's actually when uh, Peck uh, shuts off the containment grid. So... Yeah, I... mm. I'm a nerd, I know. Um, yeah, this is another one of my little builds. I did the tower bridge thing here. It's actually kind of shonky. Looking back at this, you sit there and go, yeah, Walter Peck. Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. Um, yeah, this is my little tower bridge. It actually looks much better in, at night time, so I won't, I won't sleep or anything. I'm quite pleased with that, but yeah, it needs a bit more shape. I need to put more stairs and stuff there. Um, Pikachu, of course. Um, an egg. I don't know who built this egg, but it seems to be made of diamonds. So that's a thing, apparently. Um, oh, this is Dave's, it looks like, because that's what he built in the other realm as well very cool ah this is john tracker john's um crystal maze now i don't know if you guys all know what the crystal maze was but it was this kind of um game show on tv with um richard o'brien from the rocky horror show and he, um, yeah, um, Tracker was building, I don't think he finished any of the levels, but yeah, Tracker was building an actual playable, um, a playable crystal maze. And look, you've got the Aztec and desert zone here, and there's a little bit of redstone, that's really cool. I hope he comes back in here and um, and has a play with it. It'd be really fun to do the crystal maze on stream. And if we carry on this way, you can see lots of awesome stuff coming in. Oh, Catsy, I'm so sorry you're lagging. But yeah, you are on an army base, so I wasn't expecting <laughs> great internet from there. But yeah. Thank you so much for coming, and I'm so sorry you got lagged out. Um, here is the Quidditch pitch that Dave and Selina built. And it is so gorgeous. It feels like the right kind of um, scale as well. Which is so cool. And of course, if you're in creative mode, because we hadn't done the um, the Ender Dragon and End Busting and stuff on the server at the time that this was built. So we couldn't really kind of play around with Elytra. But yeah, you can play Quidditch pretty easily on this uh, pitch, which is so cool. Hello, Aaron. Thank you for coming. Um, you missed me doing a little tour of um, Stevenage earlier um we went to your base and had a look at um all the pranks that dave had pulled on you basically uh your base is still full of water unfortunately <laughs> um what's this i think this is me i'm not sure yeah this is me uh that was me doing every block that was available to me as you do, I got bored. Um, some toilets. I think this was one of those. I think it got blown up somehow. 
that this was going to be this was a working um it threw spawn eggs behind the mirror and um kind of like how doc has done on hermitcraft 6 with his uh, toilet there's a, a zombie that pops out and looks like it's your reflection which is awesome um but yeah i don't know why that's broken i don't know who did that um oh yeah i'll go to out some more dados side this is where outs would work out his redstone stuff so yeah look they've got the out skunk works which is so cool um earlier when i was in town on the tube network this is how the actual network works network work works ah brilliant and yeah this is how the um the signal changes underneath those uh those tunnels i think this was actually my one yeah this one goes to outs and mododo and to me which is so cool outs did such a good job ah this is how the uh the shops one works which is brilliant i'm really happy with uh like one day out was like yeah fine um <laughs> i'm building this do you do you mind if i build it to yours as well and there we go we ended up with a working junction to our bases um oh this is what his um his mob farm actually looks like oh look rain lovely absolutely delightful um two big bends looks like i don't know why selena's so obsessed with big ben but she is Aaron mods that don't meme oh bless uh terrible actually it's pretty quiet so it's lovely like there's plenty so far I've had some good people in the chat. Right, Sorrel, have fun. Oh, you've now ordered your thing. Okay, so you're staying now. Brilliant. <laughs> I misread that. I thought you were leaving. That's an interesting castle. I really like that. Wow. Look at that St. Paul's. These guys have been so busy here. Jesus Christ. Look at that that is absolutely amazing i wonder if that was a map or whether they've built that because it i think it might be maps but still the work involved in it so we've got so much london stuff wow this is so cool and you've got the globe theater oh you know what i don't think joe's still here but the esports um Basically, Joe um, Joe Hills has got this thing going on where he he wanted to do kind of um, Shakespeare plays and stuff in Minecraft with um, the Patreons, and I think we should build a proper globe like that because it's beautiful. And here we go, the shard of glass, literally built in glass. That is beautiful. That's absolutely gorgeous on that side. What's this going to be? Let's have a look. That's lovely. This looks like a kind of um, more rustic skyscraper. That's really cool. I share servers with so many amazingly creative people. And you just got me that kind of I live in holes and stay there. <laughs> I just literally um I don't know if you guys are aware, um but I'm actually disabled. I um suffer from a condition called myalgic encephalitis, which is basically um a more severe version of chronic fatigue and um 
so I do have a lot of spare time but I often I'm too ill to do anything with it and that actually includes playing Minecraft which is how I actually discovered the YouTube side of it and streaming watching other people play it but when I'm feeling crap um, a lot of the time I will literally just um, I will literally just kind of sit in my base and chat to people and that's kind of like yeah that's how I play Minecraft a lot of the time okay so here I have something insane to show you from Outsome Moldado um, this was originally built for Steve and um, oh um, Aaron the disco uh, dome is currently full of water so mm, good luck with that um, but yeah this whole area um, was built in the creative world and we did it as a secret present to Steve as a celebration of the fact that he made a partner on Twitch and it was really really fun we we all got together and built lots of stuff in this um, area all to do with his streams and the games he plays so you got worms and you've got oh this is Sarah's uh, graveyard of all the times that Steve died on stream so Crash Bandicoot is one of the main <laughs> ways that he died countless times look crash bandicoot fell down a hole crash bandicoot fell down a hole killed by a skunk crash bandicoot fell down a hole killed by a skunk and sora did such an amazing job on this place and she literally documented every single death with the times Fally and Terrabo, I will put you on the naughty step if you don't behave. You're meant to be my mod, Fally. Tut tut. Anyway, but we've also got GTA. Drove into a golf cart. Drove a golf cart into a river. Wolfenstein 3D. Shot by a Nazi. Machine gun by a Nazi. The Nazi killed you. Again. Damn Nazis. Have a guess. Nazis. <laughs> Wolfenstein. Shot in the face. The Nazis had good guns. Killed mid-swear. Ambushed by blue Nazis. Shot in the face by a Nazi. Again. Got lost, then got shot. Forgot about the man. Got shot. Shot by a Nazi prick. And this is a monument to all the time Steve forgot like Steve used to die so much that like instead of a derp count he would have a death count because no he Fally he is he's a games man he is a professional esports man yeah he was nominated for an esports award yeah he's like the best gamer in the whole world nah he's he's terrible but the fact that he's terrible makes him brilliant so we've got <laughs> we've got Resi Pleven basement chainsaw deathmatch times five amnesia eaten by a monster the game chew toy for water ghost okay and look this is ridiculous this is so beautifully done tactical dying yeah so he could get back to the level and start again basically um, at least I think that's what he did. Oh, hi Hellcatsborn. Thank you for joining me. Give your mummy a hug for me, please, because she's awesome. Um, RIP Steve. We remember the day Steve died 780 times for charity. I can't even remember what that was for. Um, that looks like the totem from, uh, yeah, that's that evil ticky guy from Crash Bandicoot. Um, Alien Isolation 5. Tried to cheese it. Failed. 
Alien Isolation 5. Electrocuted. Surprise death from behind. Oh, it was the BBB. Yeah. Yeah, it was. He saw you. Ran straight into death. And wrong button. <laughs> Ran into corner. Killed by robot. Is he dead? Is he fuck? So, yeah. They, that is Steve's deaths. And if we come back over here. Um, was this Nidhogg? I think. I think this is Nidhogg, isn't it? Such a good game. Um, yeah, all of these are um, related to the games that he's played on streams and stuff like that. Um, this is actually me building this. Um, we wanted to basically copy and paste all of these buildings and monuments into one place. It's actually in the survival realm that we had. And this is my little corner. I designed the actual Crystal Palace for it. It's like um, an exhibition centre. And I actually based it on the original Crystal Palace from Victorian London, basically. So Phil is nearly entirely Phil's work. He copied and pasted about six of these into the world and hey that was me sorrow yeah i did all of the um i did the original oh wow that llama just got struck by lightning brilliant um and yeah i did the corners so it was just really easy for them to copy and paste into um survival and these are some of the things I built here. So you've got Pac-Man, of course. Yeah, Tori, um, Phil basically just copied and pasted them and did such an awesome job. Um, this is one of the lockers from Alien Isolation that Steve spent a lot of time hiding in. And I don't know if any of you guys have played Alien Isolation, but yeah, you get to know the uh, the lockers intimately, basically. And I decided to get into to, uh, fly mode. The to have Steve shitting himself inside a locker, and this is the uh, the hiding in a locker experience, which was good fun. And I also built this version of one of his first bases in um, his stream server when he started playing Minecraft on stream. And I kind of, I tried to get it as exact as possible. Like, it looks janky as hell, but it's actually <laughs> what it's meant to be. I was, yeah. I watched so many of his streams over and over to get the right dimensions and stuff. And I'm really pleased with it. When we showed him the... Um, we put all of this together in the Crystal Palace. And um, yeah, Steve is very old school. He builds castles out of cobblestone. Doesn't matter which version he plays. He's, yeah, a cobblestone guy. And yeah, he he had a bit of a cry when Selena was showing him round. Basically, um, Steve used well still has Patreon um, rewards where you get to uh, stream with him. Uh, I think it's once a week, uh, once a month, where he has sessions where he plays with people and streams them. And I think it's like twenty five quid a month or something, and you get to play. And Selena decided to use hers um, to show Steve his surprise gift from us. And she was so clever. She managed to she managed to do such a good job of not spoiling anything and wanted to play like um, Minecraft mini games because he hadn't been playing Minecraft quite as much. And he it was shown around the finished, um, the finished uh,
project and he had a bit of a cry. We nearly broke him, which was adorable. Oh, I'm inside a giant poo. That's awesome. Sorrel, I think it's still on YouTube. I'll probably post it on my Discord later. Um, we can all kind of see how it was meant to look. Um, a, I think that's Jenny's giant dong ejaculating water. I, it's, it looks a bit runny. Yeah, I think someone might need to see a doctor. Um, this is the giant Steve, which is another version of uh, the one that we jumped off. Thank you, Zelda guy. Thank you so much for the follow and thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, this is the Steve. Free discretionary benefit is um, basically that's what Steve would call the server. Um, you couldn't complain or anything about this place because it's a free discretionary benefit. He runs the place and yeah, he was a dick, but now nah, he, he's lovely. Was God button on? No, God button doesn't work anymore. But this place looked absolutely amazing when it was all put together and Phil and Dave did such an amazing job um, putting it all together. However, um, World Edit and MC Edit wouldn't allow um, Phil to copy and paste this place anywhere. Every time he tried, it would crash the server completely. And it took us offline quite a few times and we just decided to hell with it. And at the very end of the stream where Steve was being shown around the place, we had a little um, teleporter that would take him here because we, we could not take this place anywhere. Um, this is Alts and Mordado's insane Cathedral of Steve. It is one of the most amazing builds, even in creative, it is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Because they spent so much time and love on this place. And every stained window is a callback to a game that Steve played or like just general gaming and it is just stunning and if you guys haven't noticed it's been done quite a lot in um in other servers now but um underneath this glass let me just break this is an entirely mirrored version so that it looks like a reflection it is the same build just backwards and upside down and it's so simple but it's such a huge scale that it was yeah ridiculous and I'm totally stuck under here now <laughs> I'm gonna live here forever now that's a thing um, but look at this you've got Link you've got all of the Zelda stuff it is just stunning. That's one of the rabbits. Like, I've seen so many amazing builds now. <laughs> I've seen so many amazing. I will fix it out. Give me one minute. I will actually fix it. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so many months later. It was like this is nearly a year later. Oh, Dave's online. Nearly a year later, this is still insane. And guys, you did such an amazing job on this. The whole thing. I don't have middle click modderang. I use um, a touchpad because um, of the way that my wrists work now. Um, I can't use a mouse. So I have to use um, a trackpad. But this place is just bonkers. Look at Pikachu. It is just gorgeous. Like Alex Moldado did such an amazing job. And of course we've got a giant Steve in the middle as well. Yeah, um, we all logged in and actually met Selena and Steve. 
on the um, all gathered here and we had a bit of an OP war as you can tell lots of things were spawned oh Rob Sedgebear is here which is awesome um, everything was spawned in here thankfully we were in creative mode because oh my god you guys know what it's like um, I know that Wolfie and Fally know what it's like when there is an OP war and everything gets spawned in but um, thankfully this one was fully in creative so no one got hurt and I don't think anything got blocked either look at my voxel map that is brilliant the voxel map makes it look so beautiful that is so cool and this is the Mario side I love it. It is just still stunning after so long. Have you never played Minecraft? It is... I never thought I would get into it, but I did. And yeah, nearly entirely Steve's fault. But yeah, this place is just beautiful. And I can't believe how gorgeous it still is. It's like the amount of Minecraft content I have now seen. Because, yeah, I was a complete noob. <laughs> Steve made me do it. I was a complete Minecraft noob when I was playing in these servers. And that still completely blows me away. I love it. So, let me come over here. I'll show you guys. Um, I apologise for the noise. I've got my window open. You might hear a helicopter coming over. Give me one sec. Wait for that to pass. Um, this is Muir's build. And Muir, he did a really lovely Tetris house. And I've paused the music. See if this still works. It might not. That's awesome. <laughs> and Dave's just come online and said Ramble Tash has died in, died in lava. So, very apt. I miss Tashi. I really wish that Tashi would play more Minecraft these days. Wow, that's a lot of diamonds. <laughs> what the? Okay, that, that's quite impressive. Like, that's that's really quite impressive. I love it. I genuinely love it. What is the most OP stuff you can think of to dump in chess? And I think, um, actually, when it was put over in Survival, that the contents of the chests remained. So... Yeah, if I find the uh, the palace again in the survival realm, I could steal loads of stuff from there. Ah, yeah, outs. Yeah, quite a few diamonds probably went missing. It was probably me, to be fair. I want to see if this still works. Let's have a look. I don't know if this still works. This is the portal cube. No, it doesn't work anymore. Um, basically, we had um, a teleport here. So it would put you straight into this one. So you'd walk through here and come straight out of there. It was so, such a clever idea. And it worked really well. And this Squirtle. I've just realised there's a whole back bit that we haven't really seen. There we go. I think this is a face hugger from Alien. Yeah. On Steve's face. So we had, yeah, um, the alien from Alien was called Keith after a few uh, streams. So, as you do. Um, this is Dizzy's Treehouse, I think, made by Phil. Yeah, this is Dizzy's Treehouse. 
It is so cute. Let me put the music back on. There we go. Otherwise it sounds a bit weird. That is so cute and it is so much like Dizzy's. So many cool things here. I love it. Really, really love it. That is so awesome. Anyway, um, I'm going to go back to the normal creative. Which looks very different in the, uh, the daylight. I think that's um, what's her face from, um, from Brave. I can't remember the name of the character. And I think this, yeah, Merida. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, this is Sally and Jack. And I think these are all Selena builds. Yeah. Welcome to Selena's Sweet Buns. So this is going to be a bakery. Thank you guys. And this looks like a tea room. Like Alice in Wonderland's tea room. Set inside a teapot. Which is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Tasha's favourite princess. And you've got Alice in Wonderland there. Which is so cute. I really love this. I haven't been here for so long. And I think, yeah, Dave and Selena have done some really nice little new bits as well. So it's really nice to see it being continued. And I will definitely come back in here um, to build new stuff on the uh, on the server, which is so cool. I will definitely, yeah, uh, thing. We happy place, let's go back. I don't know what time it is, so I might need to run because this place gets a bit spawny. That's fine. But yeah, um, another stream, I will take you guys to here. There is something very special behind those doors that, yeah, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you will enjoy watching me get lost in there. Oh, some shulker boxes. I'm gonna nick one of them. Um, what else have we got over here? Because I'm I'm back in the survival spawn. So this is all Dave and Selena basically. That is bonkers, and I love it. I think that's meant to be the blacksmiths. Absolutely love it. Oh, Prancing Pony. This is Sarah's pub. Hello. Hi. Can I have a JD and Coke, please? Yes. I want to see it. Thank you. Um, Aaron, yeah, I'll take them to the cube in a minute. Um, Aaron currently lives in a... an interesting base. Um, we might not survive it. So... That might be a good way to end the stream. Um, ooh, bakery. Ooh, lovely. This is stuff I haven't seen. I'ma have a cookie. Yum, 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 yum. Mind you, cookies are the worst food in Minecraft. Did you see that lag? Damn. Right, so yeah. I shall pop over to Aaron's base because it's on the way home oh Selena and Dave mm. they've been up to mischief again so yeah let me just sail back to my base okay yeah you don't want me to go because yeah fair enough we won't go to Aaron's because there will be death and I don't actually fancy dying. <laughs> Hello wifey. Welcome back. Lovely to see you. I'm going to be rolling up the stream in about five minutes. Um, but yeah, this place is bonkers. I love it. Actually, let's go to Phil's uh, villager trading hall. I think it's over here. Are you sure it's over here? Yeah. Um, Phil's been busy here. Just a wee bit.
Thank you, Dave. That is wonderful. I love you very much. Um, yeah, I will go in... Wow, that's a lot of horses. So if I game mode myself... Thank you. I will just sail around here. Let's go see Aaron's uh, cube. Um, because there might be death in there. Thank you very much, Dave, for um, OPing me for this stream. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh, it is absolutely full of water. And of course, I can't get in. Your aquarium delivery is ready. Okay. That's insane. I'm actually disappointed it isn't the whole place, guys. I mean, it's beautiful. But, come on, guys. You could do better than that. Usually, this place is full of ghasts. Or, I think at one point there was may have even been a wither in here. So, yeah. Dave and Selena, they have fun with Phil. Um, well with Aaron. I want to call you Phil. Because I'm going towards Phil's base. That'll be why. That's how my brain works. Um, let's go in the tradesman's entrance. So this is Phil's trading hall. We are all Phil. And yeah, this is awesome. Apart from when you accidentally throw your emeralds at them. Sorrel. Um basically you know when you're trading with a, a villager and you've finished your trading um every now and then your emeralds will kind of fly towards them and in this kind of trading um area you can't access it and so i end up pulled into one and got out thankfully and then sorrel got stuck inside one um with an ender pearl and it was hilarious it took so long to get her out it was so funny i'm so sorry that i was laughing at your misfortune but it was really funny these are some really good um villagers nice work mate impaling nice Aqua Affinity, Mending, 10. Oh, Mending 10 is really decent. That 10 emeralds for that is really good. I have um, a Mending Villager on another realm, which I will show on my, um, my next stream, hopefully. And, yeah. That's brilliant. I love that. I've got a little um, Cured Villager village. Because I ended up because in bedrock, um, you can spawn uh, zombie villagers with uh, zombie spawners. So basically, you can have uh, your own supply of villagers if you just cure them with I think it's potion of harming and a golden apple. And so I ended up building an entire. Um, an entire kind of village for them which i will probably show you at the weekend if i do another stream um now this portal <laughs> this portal had to be blocked off on this side because every now and then a uh a curious dolphin would jump in and end up in the nether <laughs> and every now and then you'd go through the portal and there'd just be a dying dolphin just in front of you and ah oh, it was haunting <laughs> like fully haunting oh this boat is insane guys look at this this is beautiful i really really love this this is the first time i've actually been on this boat because i've never actually worked out how to get onto it yes this is the boat of death i wouldn't be um I wouldn't be approaching it if I wasn't on uh, 
it's on creative because it tends to be a little spawny in here I've heard I just shot something something went boom I'm waging war on Phil's place this is so cool oh and uh, Aaron's cube is still decked up for uh, Christmas Oh, this is all of uh, Aaron's um, Christmas presents from Selena, which is gorgeous. I I visited El Big Boy earlier, but I will now. Um, but just be aware that when this place is updated to 1.14, he has AI. So you're going to have to be careful with him. Because if he gets set free, then he'll actually be able to follow and kill us all. El Big Boy will kill us all. And all the chickens in Sarah's place. Amelia Eggheart. Oh, guys. <laughs> Amelia Eggheart. Hen Solo. That is ridiculous. Yeah, Dave, I wouldn't update the server until at least 14.1 is updated because um, even without Spigot or the newest version of Spigot there's like so many problems with loading um, but yeah we are back at my base and yeah I bred so many turtles to get their helmet I, um, to do helmets and stuff and this eventually is going to be kind of underwater base. Um, I should be able to uh, build some stuff on stream at some point. I don't know what to do with this place, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I was thinking kind of like um, Mumbo Series 5 kind of thing a bit. Um, I will fly off to uh, to Sorrel's place because it's beautiful um, that bloody Big Ben is everywhere um, yeah Fally I play on so many servers but I still kind of I don't get lost very often um, of course there's Pac-Man and the ghosts and we ended up having to build this bridge with um, gates because otherwise Sorrel was just getting attacked over and over and over again. Um, there is apparently an invisible llama in there as well. Um, let's go into Sorrel's base. Yeah, that'd be lovely if we did a community thing. I would love to do that. Um, this is Sorrel's bedroom, I think. Yeah the little pokeball and at some point I think Sora wanted to turn this into a proper aquarium ah there's oh little tropical fish it's gorgeous this is Sorrel's uh, storage room like Sorrel still built so much more than I have on this and there's a snow golem in here hi you all right um, yeah, Sorrel has a thing. Um, oh, Sorrel, I'll talk you through it later on Discord. Um, yeah, fair enough. Um, effort, lots of. Um, but yeah, there are golems in here. Um, yeah, Sorrel's done so much more building than I have on this place. It is gorgeous, and I love this little secret garden. It's really magical gorgeous it's so sweet and this is the uh, farm upstairs which is a really nice thing actually I like this oh no Fred the cow has actually moved onto the roof Fred the cow was originally stuck on a tiny little ledge in the middle of this uh, this cliff and he stayed there the whole time Sorrel was building this base. And now he's uh, got his own little home on the roof. Which is cool, actually. 
I like that. But yeah, he's no longer the... Uh, he's no longer stuck there. Oh, I see. Fair enough. But yeah, if you guys didn't notice, um, this is all uh, glass in between. So I could actually completely drain it and move the conduit elsewhere. So that could be an interesting build to do. And here's Percy and Piwacket. Now Piwacket isn't from Harry Potter. Piwacket is the name of uh, an original witch's familiar from um, the days of the Witch Hunter General. And yeah, it's, it's something I've always wanted to name a cat. There's an amazing film from uh, with Kim Novak where she is a witch in New York in the 50s and it's such a wonderful film and she has a cross-eyed cat called Piwacket that like she performs magic with and it is lovely. Um, Mordado, this is a mod called Voxel Map and you need, I can't remember which version you need um give me one sec let me just f3 oops it is yeah you need to download rift first and then box or map i can dm you the links and stuff but yeah um i think i will end the stream here it is now just past nine um let me f5 out hi guys this is what i look like what and um, basically, yeah, thank you so much for, for coming. And this has been, yeah, an interesting first, um, very interesting first stream. And um, thank you guys so much for coming. Um, I'm going to probably raid, let's see. Who am I going to raid? Let me just load up Twitch. Ah, I'm going to raid Rendog because he is an excellent human. And yeah. Um, how do I do raid again? Is it forward slash raid? Um, I will be probably streaming again at the weekend. Um, maybe Sunday afternoon, I don't know. Depends how, because this has been quite knackering we'll see how i do but um yeah thank you guys so much for for coming and it has been such a lovely stream and yeah thank you guys um i'm going to go and raid rendog he is a family friendly um, Minecrafter, he's a hermit, so um, be a bit more PG if you can. Don't tell him he's a cunt, just tell him he's pretty because he is. So, thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>